Hey, this is a quick video on how to edit what we call the hero section of your website. And the hero section is essentially this part of your website. Right now, uh, by default, we have it enabled on your home page, on the cash buyer site, seller mode, uh, uh, main company branding, all those different websites. It's, it's enabled by default on your home page. Here's our sample uh, cash buyer site. I'm just going to go to our, our demo main company branding site. You can see here the hero section is a picture and then we've just left the content uh, here the hero section is a picture behind there, content on the left side and an opt-in form on the right side and the thing about the hero section is as soon as we we, we put that in place on our websites we started to uh, increase our conversions big time and there's a few reasons to that so number one when someone lands in your website the first thing they see needs to be grabbing their eye and it needs to drive them toward you the number one thing that you feel that they need to take action on and with these websites we grab their eye there's a good looking image there's a an arrow pointing toward an opt-in form and this opt-in form for a cash buyer website is to get them to join your cash buyer list on the motivated, motivated seller sites this is to get them to submit their property information or download a free report and you, the cool thing is you can change every single thing about this so if you don't like the image I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't like this I'm going to show you how to do it if you want a video here I'm going to show you how to do that if you don't like these forms I'll show you how to sw switch the forms out so the first thing you're going to do is log into your dashboard and the, the place that you access the hero image area is from pages so go ahead and click pages and this is going to give you a listing of all the pages on your website. And by default, once again, we've, we've filled your website with some stock content that we've written. And the website content is written to be search engine optimized. We've uh, geared it toward your specific city a little bit. And it's professionally written. But we do highly, highly suggest that you dive in and give the content a spin, your own spin. So you don't have the same content as the next guy. And so the content really is unique to your own business. Okay. And plus, uh, search engine for search engine reasons, if you and someone else in your same market have the same uh, exact same content, or you didn't take any effort to act, to edit your content a little bit, Google isn't going to like that. Okay. So first of all, what we're going to do is once again we're going to go and show you how to edit this hero image. And this hero image, it's on our homepage. But the cool thing is, you can in, you can choose to put a hero image on any single web page in your website that you want. But we're just going to go ahead, go ahead and navigate down to home. And this is how we edit pages. And you can see here I'm in the home page. And here's the content of the home page. The secret source of far below market investment properties. And I'm just going to put this back in there. I took that out in a previous demo. Uh, so I'm going to show you where this is. So here's that information right there. The secret source of far below market properties and blah, blah, blah. Here's that picture. Here's the picture we're seeing, so just so you can see where I'm at. So this right here edits the content on the website, the main content. Okay, so this is the main content. This section right here, once again, is what we call the hero section. And where you edit the hero section is you scroll down and go to the place that says hero section options. And by default, your home page hero section is enabled. You can see there, there should be a check mark box on your home section your hero section there on your on your website if you don't want it it's as simple as clicking this it disables it click update go back I'm gonna refresh this page and you're gonna see it's gone no refresh it too soon du, 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 enable okay so I didn't uh, there we go I didn't didn't click update over there okay so you can see now that hero section has gone and it's just the content okay so if you want your page like that your home page awesome do it but we're just going to go ahead and go back and enable the hero section because we know it it does increase conversions so what we're going to do is one by one I'm going to show you how to update the different parts of your hero section uh, number one I'm going to show you how to, how to update the the image behind it number two I'm going to show you how, how to update the content on the left side I'm going to bring this back so you can see what I'm talking about here so we're going to show you how to upload the update the image first next the content and last the forms and like I said all these changes you can do in under five to ten minutes it's gonna take me a little bit longer here in this video just to show you how to do it first of all let's let's uh, update this image behind here okay so what you're gonna do is go down to this featured image box and one thing that you need to read is down here it says uh, recommended image solution 
for your featured image is 980 pixels wide by 480 pixels tall. If you don't know what that means, no biggie. Uh, contact us, we can help you out with it. If you do know what that means, that's just essentially the size of your image. And it doesn't have to be this image. This is just our recommended size so it looks the best possible on the page. And like we've already showed you in other tutorials, we do have an image editing uh, software within here. So if you uploaded an image and it was too big, you could upload it, go to media, edit that image down to size. Just go to our help section if you don't know how to do that and type up edit images, click search, and there will be a tutorial showing you how to do that. But let's go ahead and add a different image. So click select, select featured image. And if you want to use one of the images, images that's already in your website, awesome. Just all you got to do is just go ahead and click it. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to click set featured image. And I'm not sure if that one's going to work or not because it wasn't edited to size yet, but we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and refreshed and you can see now there's a different image back there. If I wanted the whole image of the whole house to, to be in there, once again, I'll need to edit it so it's a little bit closer to this size, 980 by 480. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back in here. We're going to change images to a different one. If you have an image that you want to upload from your computer, same thing with all the other ones. All you have to do is go to Upload uh, Media Files, grab the computer, grab the image off of your computer, and drag it over. Okay, so then it's going to add it to your system right there. And then you go ahead and select that image, click Select Featured Image, click Update, and it's going to update it here. And once again, this image isn't edited to size, so we'll see what it looks like. So you can see this image is way, way too small. So that's what happened there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you over here on this on this website. We use it a lot for demo purposes, but um, I'm going to show you that you can really you, you can put any image you want in here. So this particular image is just one that we uploaded uh, with this with this house. If you want to upload an image kind of like here, where it's not just one house, but it's a neighborhood that's that's uh, indicative of your neighborhood, do that. Or upload an image of your team, whatever it is. Upload something that that is. Uh, that tells a story about what you guys do essentially. Hopefully if you have a, a house in there, it's a house in your area so people can tell that it's a house in your area. So next step, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, choose a different image here again. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like that. It's going to put the uh, original image back in there. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to update the content over here. So here's the content that I'm talking about, this right here. Okay. So if you wanted to change this content, there's, it's really, really simple. So first of all, you'll notice this little bracket, the word market underscore city bracket. This is what we call a short code. And you'll notice all throughout your website, the city that you told us that you, is your main investment market is already everywhere throughout your website. Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, all over the place, including your, your company name too. The way that we do that really quickly and easily is we use these little brackets. So anywhere that this bracket uh, and the word mar market underscore city is we're going to put that name of the city. If you want to learn how to update that, once again, go ahead and go to the help section, type how to update city, and it'll it'll show you how to do it. Uh, but let's say we want to uh, take this sentence out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Go ahead and go up to update, refresh this, and you're going to see that is now out of there. Okay. Uh, if you want to put a video in there, really simple and quick, just put a darn video in there. Uh, go to YouTube and grab the URL and plunk it in there. Okay, last the last thing with your hero section, we just went over, of course, your image, uh, the image behind the hero section. We went over the content that you can put in here, and I showed you that you can just take a YouTube URL and put the URL right in there, and a video will go in there. So you're not using the embed code, you're using the URL. Last is the form. So the last thing you can do is you can select one of the forms that's already in your website. So you can see here's a list of all the, the web forms. And these web forms, you can choose them. So by default, we've already got the one chosen um, that's for the specific copy that's written up here. But if you wanted to use one of these other web forms, let's say it's for a, the, the free report, or let's say you want to create your own web form that had your own information, uh, you can select it there. Or if you wanted to have no form at all, um, you would just go ahead and select none. Or if you wanted to use opt-in code from another system, another email marketing system like AWeber or MailChimp or FreedomSoft, 
any system where they'll actually generate a uh, opt-in form code for you that you can put on other websites you just put that right there click update and you're done so that's how to update your hero section like I said it's going to give you massive um, uh, appeal as far as the look of it people really like it but once we put this in place it really really started to boost conversions and one of the biggest changes like I said you can make in the hero section is updating the background image so it's a picture that's relevant to your area and if you wanted to slap a video right there and uh, that works really really well too if you don't have a video no problem at all this still converts insanely great thanks hope uh, that walked you through the hero section well and if you wanted to uh, integrate the hero section on any other pages you would do the same thing just click pages go find the page that you want to put a hero section on scroll down click enable and then you would do the same thing so uh, if you have any questions email us at support at oncare.com